Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Badger Breakdown. I'm Mike Lucas from UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. In a very short period of time, this rivalry has taken on a, a higher meaning between Michigan State and Wisconsin. You almost get to the point where you think these two teams really don't like each other. Yeah, maybe a point to prove both ways. Michigan State part of the three-way tie in this uh, in this league last year, but the way the tie-breaking system worked, uh, uh, they didn't get the Rose Bowl bid, and it still seems to be a little upset about that. Wisconsin with a point to prove. The only loss in league play uh, was to Michigan State and East Lansing. So. Home field advantage has meant a lot here in recent years, but the fact that now both teams are ranked again uh, raises everything up a notch. Do you put much weight on what the players have been saying here in Madison this week about learning something from last year's game, especially the way they prepared for the Spartans? I, I think so, because in that game, they, they just weren't sharp. And really, the rest of the Big Ten season, Wisconsin obviously was sharp. Uh, breakdowns and special teams, and, and they couldn't get off the field defensively on third down. Credit to Michigan State. I thought the Spartans played very well. Keyshawn Martin with that punt return, uh, very efficient on offense. But I, I think they learned a lesson, and Brett, Brett's talked about that. The, the way they reacted, even in the locker room after that game, was a good indicator for him that the Badgers of a year ago were still a championship caliber team, and, and obviously they ended up being that way. You think it was by design that Michigan State wanted to get into the heads of quarterbacks and offensive coordinators with some of the things they've been doing and saying? I, I do. I, I think so. And, and maybe mission accomplished. I would like to think this Wisconsin team is not one that would get rattled by that. Uh, you see a little bit of backpedaling right now from the defensive coordinator, who's done a very good job there, Pat Narduzzi, but he was the one who came out with the uns we want unsportsman. Was it unsportsman? 60 like minutes. Him? 60 minutes of unnecessary roughness. Correct. And he you know, backpedaled off of that a little bit. But... You know, they, they had a lot of penalties last week against Michigan, half a dozen personal foul calls. But I just think, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I think that maybe part of it is trying to get into the opponents had this week, Wisconsin, that this Spartans team is, is very good, but not afraid to get right to the edge and sometimes over it where you get the penalties. Well, Wisconsin's balance on offense serve the Badgers well in this type of game where Michigan State's definitely going to try to take away one of those dimensions and has shown the ability to do so with other teams. Yeah, they've been a very blitz, uh, you want to call it a blitz happy team, we, we could say that. In these last two games, Michigan State has 21 sacks this season, 16 coming in the last two games, nine against Ohio State, seven against Michigan. Uh, Ohio State is, is offensively challenged and really was in that game. Michigan, Denard Robinson is as good as he is and as electrifying as they can be, still not not a balanced offense like what Wisconsin has. I think maybe the Badgers are giving Michigan State something to think about. It'll be interesting to see how much the Spartans blitz against a, a team that so far seems to have answers against uh, what defenses have been thrown at. I think it's fair to say that last year in that ball game, Michigan State got to Scott Tolzien early and maybe rattled Scotty a little bit. You think they can do that? to Russell Wilson? I would be surprised if he was rattled. I think if Russell has a bad day, however you would define that for him, I don't think it's because he would be overwhelmed by the circumstances. Look, he took, you know, for the most part, I think Kevin Wilson, the, the Indiana coach, is right in that Russell's played in a stress-free environment most of the year. But remember back to that Nebraska game? He took a couple pretty good shots early in that ball game but they stayed the course, led by a quarterback who's pretty good at being flatlined. So I would be surprised if, if number 16 got rattled out there. Now, this will be the first test for Wisconsin's defense against a pro-style attack, led by a veteran, experienced quarterback, Kirk Cousins, with tall, lanky, wide receivers, and a tailback rotation, three deep. So this is a, a much different challenge than anything that the Badgers have seen thus far. It, it is, and Michigan State offensively has been a little up and down. Their offensive line, they've gone through a couple of injuries. They have some young guys in there, but last week really ran the ball well. Edwin, Edwin Baker with 167 rushing yards against maybe not a great Michigan defense, but certainly a much better, I think we could say, Michigan defense than a year ago. But Baker was the first 100-yard rusher, individual rusher for Michigan State this season. So maybe as that offensive line continues to build, that's what's taking Michigan State a little bit more time and getting that consistency that you're used to seeing offensively. Wisconsin on the defensive line's been pretty deep. However, we don't know this week going in how deep uh, the Badgers are going to be with David Gilbert's injury. Don't know uh, as we do this whether Patrick Butcher is going to be good to go. So a deep defensive line is less so. So it'll be interesting to see how that group holds up. There are still some unknowns in both Big Ten divisions, whether it's the legends or the leaders. I've got a feeling we're going to find out more about both Michigan and State and Wisconsin on Saturday night. Yeah, who knows? Maybe this is the first of two. You, you never know. I mean, obviously, other things have to happen between now and the first week of December, but. 
I, I think we're going to find out a lot about the Badgers here in these next few weeks. I, I guess I'm one of those who believes you're defined as an elite team by what you do on the road. Last year, Wisconsin, that great game against Ohio State, unbelievably memorable. We'll never forget it. But I thought the following game against Iowa really helped define Wisconsin as a championship caliber team. And now the Badgers are going to have a shot for the next five back-to-back -back primetime road games. We're going to find out a lot. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for watching Badger Breakdown on uwbadgers.com.